Some people love to experience horror, feel the adrenaline pumping through their veins as they're chased by an enemy, hiding in a locker, or taking down a boss. Luckily for us, there's no shortage of horror titles out there, and today on Top 5 Scary Videos, we're going to be counting down the top 5 scariest first person games. Let's jump in. Coming in at number 5, Outlast. This first person survival horror game revolves around a freelance investigative journalist, Miles Upshaw, who investigates a remote psychiatric hospital named Mount Massive Asylum, located deep in the Colorado mountains. It's a thrilling ride from start to finish as you maneuver your way around the asylum, avoiding crazy inmates that want to kill you, while discovering clues about the hospital as you seek an escape. The jump scares seem to be endless in the game, whether you're hiding in a locker from a madman wielding a knife, or whether you're hiding under a bed trying to crawl to freedom. The game does not let up, not even once. Outlast received generally positive reviews from critics and gamers alike, who praised its atmosphere and horror elements. Due to its success, a DLS named Whistleblow was released as well as a sequel, Outlast 2. Coming in at number 4, Amnesia The Dark Descent. The survival horror released back in 2010 focuses on a protagonist named Daniel, who is exploring a dark and foreboding castle while attempting to maintain his sanity, which is rattled by terrifying monsters and obstructions instructions throughout the game. All that we know when Daniel awakes at the beginning of the game is his name, that he lives in Mayfair and that something is hunting him, and the thing that is hunting him is downright terrifying. Aptly named The Shadow, this entity manifests itself through fleshy, acidic growth spreading through the castle. Throughout the game we learn of Daniel's mysteries about his own past through notes and diaries found scattered around the map. Now what makes the game terrifying isn't because of the jump scares or the shadow, but because of the eeriness and the unsettling feeling that no matter what, someone is always watching you. Coming in at number 3, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. The Resident Evil franchise has always been apt in making some of the most bone chilling, spine tingling horror games out there, and Biohazard is no different. Released in 2017, the survival horror game follows Ethan Winters as he searches for his wife in a derelict plantation, occupied by cannibals. Yep. No fun. What tells this game apart from its predecessors is that it's the first game in the series to use first person view, making it all that more terrifying as you're forced to maneuver through swamps, through homes, and in bushes, avoiding being eaten while trying to save your loved one. Limiting your visibility means that you're constantly feeling exposed and vulnerable throughout the entire game. Now, the most terrifying moments in the game come from the Baker family, who are hot on your tail, and they are absolutely horrifying. Turning the game into a spooky version of hide and seek as you're forced to hide from the members of the family. Coming in at number 2, Soma. Released back in 2015, this science fiction survival horror takes place on an underwater remote research facility, with machinery that begins to take on human characteristics. The game is downright terrifying, but what really makes this horror game unnerving is the sound design. The sounds of footsteps approaching send shivers down my spine. It's incredibly atmospheric, pacing itself to begin, before upping the intensity to a 10 halfway through. You play as Simon Jarrett, a protagonist who finds himself at the underwater facility under mysterious mysterious circumstances, and is inadvertently forced into uncovering its past while trying to make sense of its future. What makes this game horrifying isn't so much the jump scares, but the existential horror that goes along with it, with the universe in the game not working the way you would reasonably expect it to. And finally, coming in at number 1, Alien Isolation. Released in 2014, the survival horror game is set 15 years after the events of the 1979 Alien film, and follows Amanda Ripley, daughter of Ellen Ripley as she investigates the disappearance of her mother. Unlike previous Alien in games, this version focuses on stealth and survival horror, requiring players to avoid and outsmart the alien hunting you. You are trapped on a space station with a xenomorph, and you need to find a way to survive. The game is exhilarating and downright terrifying, forcing you to hide in lockers and underneath gurneys, quite like Outlast in that sense. But what makes this game even more horrifying is the xenomorph itself, which is arguably the most terrifying enemy we've ever come across in a video game. It's cunning and wickedly smart, capable of using its eyes and ears to find where you might be hiding, with the smallest sound catching its attention. It's a unique tension that I haven't experienced in a game before, and I suggest you all play it. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part two. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. Until next time, see you later.